Hey budget babes, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kiana Janae and you are chilling with me on The Money Plan where I talk all things money. Today I am going to be unstuffing my wallet and restuffing my wallet categories and um, making sure that I put that away and then just giving you guys a little bit of an update. So two weeks, three weeks ago, my car broke down. Two weeks ago, I bought a new car which has put me in a very tight, situation when it comes to my budget um just a little backstory i am a divorced mom of three so i am raising three children by myself and i have one salaried income i also receive a small amount in child support so that does help out as well but what we have coming in starting in september will not be enough i will be operating in the red good thing is i had some money set to the side so how i budget for the rest of of august will set me up to be in a good position for september but after september the pressure will really 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 be on for me to make some additional money because i mean if i'm just being completely honest we are not going to be having enough coming in so um I really, I, I'm cutting some of my expenses by cutting off some of my subscriptions. I am taking down, um, I'm going to have to scale back in what I'm saving and all of the things. Some stuff is just like out of my control. I have to continue to pay. So I just have no choice but to get a second job. Um, uh, my children are really like taken back because they're not used to me, you know, working in 70, 80, 90 hours a week in order to make things happen. But I am a mother. I am a mother a single mother at that and I have to make things happen so if I don't know how to do anything else I know how to make something out of nothing so I'm going to be okay I know I should be like very stressed right now and I'm not gonna lie it, it's a little bit stressful but I'm not letting it get me to the point where I can't function where I can't move forward and where I can't see the good I know that the Lord has not set me up in this situation to get this new car well for my car to break down for one and me having to buy a new one now granted you guys I know someone is going to say this in the comment why did you buy such an expensive car but for me if i'm going to buy a new car and this is going to be something that i hopefully lasts me for at least the next 10 years i needed to invest in something that wasn't going to break down three years from now and me be back in the same situation so um that's that on that i bought the car and now i'm gonna have to make some big girl moves so i can pay for it um i'm cutting back and cutting down on some things but you know we're gonna be okay y'all just pray for your girl i believe in god and i know that he has me i'm not walking in this fight alone i will get through it so i'm just gonna keep moving forward i am going to sit down and film my september budget so that you guys can really see the reality of what it looks like when you don't make enough money and you got bills like how are you gonna make it work so um i'm going to do that Anyhow, go ahead and count the money that we are going to be stuffing this week. We have 100, 200, 240, 250 is what's going back in my wallet this week. Let's see what we had left for last week. So in grocery, we had $7.00. Household, I did not go and buy anything that I needed for household. So I'm actually going to roll this over. And going forward, I might need to increase household to maybe $15 a week. Because I don't even know if what I need to buy will be enough after we stuff from this week. So I'm going to leave the $10 there. Dining out, we had $4.00. And then for gas, we had $10. So all together from last week, we had 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, $21 left. I will go ahead and put this to the side. I will be using this for my savings challenges. All right, let's go ahead and restuff. So we have 150 going in grocery. I'm going grocery shopping today. Y'all need to start couponing or something because I need to figure out a way to save some money. So if y'all have any couponing hacks for your girl, any suggestions, definitely drop them down in the comment section below. I have $10 going in household. 
$40 going in dining out. And $50 going into gas. So that is it for my wallet categories. Oh, I forgot. I brought out my change jar, you guys. And it's almost full. Once it fills completely up, I will roll it and take it to the bank. But let's dump out the change from last week. Oh. So I went somewhere and they gave me $2 back in quarter. So I know I at least got $2 here. Let's get this. Y'all, we're going to be full soon. Look at that. We only got a little bit of space. I say in about two weeks, I will be fully full and I will be rolling some change. All right, you guys, that is all. That is it. That is all that I have for you today. Thank you for joining me. Hit that like button if you like my video. I promise it doesn't cost you anything and it helps my channel out a lot. So if you want to support me and you want to know how you can support me, just give your girl a like if you like the content. Share it if you want to share it with someone. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every time I I upload up next is going to be my savings challenge video i am about to actually film that right now love you bye